again, how are you doing? Joe Barnes here. And you know what? I, I haven't said this in the last few videos, but if you've watched this whole series and you've got to a point where you have created your website and it's up and it's in Facebook um, and you've done and you've gone through the whole series, I would just like to say absolutely um, sincere congratulations good for you for sticking with the whole series and actually making something happen so congratulations you should feel very very proud of yourself so look this video is because I've had lots of questions from people who love using the iframes theme um, but who are saying well look Joe I've got a blog on that particular domain um, how do I actually have both now lots of people one of the ways to do it is to simply purchase another domain Okay, well that's one way that you could basically go and purchase a completely brand new domain, and uh, and then you would need to put a separate installation of WordPress on that domain, and then just use that one for your iframe templates. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is that when you go into Fantastico on your control panel, in here for instance, okay, and you set up and you go into your domain. So let me just show you. Let's go into Fantastico. And I'll just show you this way of doing it. You can go in here and you can basically set up WordPress just like we did it in the very first couple of videos. Click on WordPress. Okay. Go new installation. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a little cough. Okay, I just took that cough out of the video <laughs> because I didn't want to offend your ears. And then if we go down to our domain that we've already installed it on, so if we grab uh, create a website on Facebook, then we can create a directory within that. So let's say we wanted to call it uh, iframe. Yeah, that's our directory. And then we could create our username and our password and everything else down here that we, we would want to put on there and then install WordPress okay so that's a separate installation of WordPress and basically what it's doing is it's now creating the WordPress installation within create a website on facebook.com forward slash iframe okay so all of your URLs for your posts and everything would be create a website on facebook.com forward slash iframe forward slash whatever your post was so let's say for instance if we go back here over two pages and we went into page two for instance and at the moment it's create a website on facebook.com forward slash page hyphen two hyphen four that would be create a website on facebook.com forward slash iframes forward slash yeah so doing an installation on your uh, on the exactly the same domain but creating a brand new directory is one way of doing it okay so let's go back to control panel because I would also like to show you another way of doing it and either way is good enough it's entirely up to you what you want to do this way is called a subdomain if we go down here to subdomain and click on subdomains okay and here we can go and grab the domain that we want to use so we want to use create a website on facebook.com and again we can call it iframes okay and go and create that subdomain and that's just thinking about it and boom there now we have iframes dot create a website on facebook.com has been created now what we'd need to do is go back to the home page okay go back down to fantastico and do exactly the same thing go down to wordpress and new installation and then we would go and we would look for our subdomain so there's our subdomain iframes dot create a website on facebook.com and we'd grab that and we'd go through exactly the same process put in our username our password whatever it else it is we want down here as a configuration method and then install WordPress okay and then our WordPress installation is going to be created within iframes dot create a website on facebook.com so then in future all of our URLs rather than create a website on facebook.com would be HTTP iframes dot create a website on facebook.com forward slash page 
You're going to ask me which one is better. Either or. It's just what you feel more comfortable with. Okay, so you can create a subdomain or you can install WordPress within a new directory. Either or. Okay. Okay, so I do hope that that has cleared that up for you. So if you have got a blog um, under that particular domain, let's say your blog was create a website on facebook.com and you wanted to continue that blog on that domain, then in order to use our iframe templates, all you would need to do is either create this subdomain or install WordPress under a separate directory. So, guys, that's it. Um, we have come to the end of this series. Over the last 20 odd videos, you have learned to install WordPress, to install our theme onto WordPress, to create your very first web page, to create more pages and build a little website, and how to integrate that and place that all within Facebook. OK, um, which I think is a pretty mammoth feat. Well done, everybody who's been following along and doing this. Um, and you've also learned how to create opt in forms um, and how to use uh, autoresponders as well. So it's been um, quite an exciting video series. I do hope that you've enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed making it. And I would love to see your progress, um, guys. If you want to show me your websites, then do please head over to the Social Networking Academy page here um, and post your fan pages on here. Here and I'll come and have a look at your um, come and have a look at your websites. Come and have a look at your art. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, do look out for the Social Networking Academy TV updates, uh, keeping you totally up to date with everything that's happening in social media, and also for our weekly Social Power newsletter with lots of hints, tips, tricks, technical stuff, marketing, all of that kind of thing, all to do with using the power of social media to help you grow your business online. So thank you very much for your time. Congratulations if you have a website live on Facebook. And I look forward to speaking with you very, very soon. Thanks, guys. You take care. Bye-bye.